January 31st, 2018. Yes, I'm on it again. Don't worry about it. You don't like my channel, you know what to do, right? I want to make a response. Many people come to my channel to come to boast and brag to me about their father, Bishop, this, and Apostle, this, and Yelipo, Likoya, Adeboye. Listen, if you are offended by my message, please go open up your YouTube channel and boast about your daddy. Because most of you come there, you don't, I've never read any comment I give glory to God without mentioning your pastors. You brag in your pastor and you Bishop and you this. Oh, the God of Yelipo and the God of this. Can we begin to pray to the God of the Bible? Or oh, the God of this commission? What commission? Those are no longer churches. Those are shrines. So stop praying to the God of your shrine. You call it church. Because only in shrines that people issue curses. Pastors and men of God shouldn't be issuing curses. Each time somebody contra, uh, a counter act or somebody question their doctrines and their teaching. And they issue curses. Those are no longer churches. Those are shrines. So stop coming to my YouTube channel to defend your God you call pastor. Stop coming to my YouTube channel to defend your shrine you call a church. Because the last time I checked, shrines is where people, where rich doctors issue curses. So you don't have churches, you have shrines. So if you have shrines and somebody on the pulpit issuing curses, you know who are those, right? I don't have to tell you. So stop coming to my channel and telling me hey, your daddy. I'm not interested in the God of your father, the God of your commission, the God of your denomination, the God of your church. I'm not interested in what they have to say. I'm interested in what the God of heaven have to say. So you stop praying to the God of Europe and the God of Adebo and the God of this person, the God of that person, the God of this commission. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with your brains? Don't you guys even realize how offensive that prayer is to God? Or oh, I pray to the God of this commission. You don't realize and stop the thing. How insulting and offensive it is. Why can't you just say the God of the Bible? Why can't you just say I pray to Jesus? You always have to attach your pastor or your church or your denomination into your so-called testimony or your prayers. Can we, can we just boast and brag about God without ever having to mention our so-called men of God or women of God or pastor? Can you ever, I challenge all of you, idol worshippers, because you are idol worshippers. 90% of you who look up to your so-called men of God, you are idol worshippers. You have just exchanged one idol for another. You left your graven images in the witch doctor heart, and you have replaced your graven images with your pastors or your father in the law or your daddy G or your mothers and your daddies. That's what you are. But I want to pose a challenge to you. Spend 30 minutes every day and begin to boast and brag about God without making mention of your pastor, without making mention of your church, without making mention of, of your denomination. I challenge you. You can't even do that. I can't. Most Africans, if possible to maybe some American, but most Africans, Nigerians especially, I, it, it's difficult to hear them ever give a testimony or even praise God without ever making mention of their pastor or their church or their apostle or their bishop or their mommy and their daddy and their father in the law and this commission and that commission and the pastor and apostle prophets. You can't even give a clean testimony 100% to give glory to God, to put the focus and the attention back on God. You can't even do that. You don't realize how insulting and offensive that is to God. That's why God will begin to remove those principalities. I know they call themselves pastors. They call themselves men of God, women of God. They call themselves apostle, bishop, pope, daddy, geo. They are nothing more than principalities in suits. I repeat, your so-called fathers and daddies and mommy in the law, they are nothing more than principalities wearing suits, devils in their suits, devils in suits, masquerading and, ma and masquerading as men and women of God. God. The season has come for God to pull back the veil and remove the scales from your eyes so you can see the spirit manifesting and speaking to them and through them. Yes, and find a message for the old spiritual father. I know some of you have insisted and you want to be called a spiritual father. I refuse to fall for your, for your mess. You know why? Jesus himself said in the word, call no man father. Jesus said it. Then you come and say, a Timothy said to Paul, a Timothy said to, excuse me, Paul said to Timothy, my son. Okay, he said my son. He didn't say my spiritual son. So where did you get spiritual son from? When G, am, am I a disciple of Timothy and Paul or am I a disciple of Christ? When Christ said, call men, no man, father, call no man, rabbi, call no man, father, he said, uh, Paul said to Timothy, my son. He didn't say my spiritual son. Son means son. I have a friend. I knew her for 25 years. She has a 14-year-old son. I call him son. So now you're going to call him my spiritual son. Son means son. That's what that means. It means somebody that I love as if they came from my loins. It means somebody who I love dearly as if I gave birth to them. I will love them as if I gave. That's all it means. Simple. You got nothing to do with spiritual son. There's only one spiritual father. That is God. And he is spirit and he is my father. Period. 
You insist you must be called a spiritual father. So, you, okay, you have a church of, let's say, 1,000 members. You say you are the spiritual father. Do you lay on your bed at night and take the, those 1,000 members and you take their burdens to the Lord all, all night? When last did you take a day to fast on their behalf? When last did you take a day to pray all night on the behalf of the people you call spiritual children? Do you even know their names? Come on now. If one of your so-called spiritual child right now call you and say, Daddy, we're going to call you Daddy and Mommy. I need help to pay my rent or my light bill. Will you give them money? You have a, let's say you have a member of five, uh, five uh, excuse me, 1,000 member. And a hundred out of the 1,000 member need some financial help. Can they call Daddy? Because we all go through some trials every now and then, right? We all may have a bump in the road. It's not a regular base, but once in a blue moon, 100 out of your 1,000 uh, children, Spiritual children call you and say, I need this person need money for the rent. This person need money for the car note. Because that's what father do. Anybody have a natural father, you hit up, you have a financial burden once in a blue moon. You will call your mommy or your daddy to, to help you out, right? It's not a regular basis, but once in a while. Can you do that? You can't even do that. But you insist we must respect you and bow down as a father. No, I don't. I have one spiritual father. That is God. I may have some spiritual teachers and mentors that I respect and look up to. That's a, but that's about it. You're not a father. I'm sorry, because father don't get angry or offended. So instead of baby, for you to be offended and angry in your son's and then you take some of you so-called father. If you disagree with some of your spiritual children, what do you do? You take to the pulpit and turn your disagreement into a message. You begin to preach about or preach against your so-called spiritual children. If you have argument in your natural house and you want your child out of question your laws, do you take to the pulpit and preach about them? You don't do that to your own natural children. But you say you are a spiritual father and you insist we must bow down to you. It's not going to happen. God opening people's eyes. They will see you for who you are. So please, leave us alone with the spiritual father. And stop this, pray, start praying to, you, to the God of this and the God of that and the God of Oyedipo and the God of Adeboye, the God of Olukoya, the God of who else? Chris Oyakilome, the God of Eyo or Jesu or just for how we say the name, Adafarasin. Suleiman, you know the whole name, Joshua, the, too many, I can't pronounce the name. I'm going to butcher your African name. But look here, stop. Pray to Jesus, Father, Son, Holy Ghost, please. Stop praying to the God of this commission, and the God of that commission, and this God and that. Pray to Jesus. What happened to Jesus? Is Jesus no longer enough? You have to pray to the God of your spiritual father. So Jesus is not enough. The name of Jesus is not enough anymore. No longer do we tremble at the word of God. But we tremble at the word of our so-called fathers in the law, my father in the law, and spiritual father, and spiritual mentor, this father, and mommy said, and daddy said. We don't tremble at the word of God, but we tremble at the word of the men of God. How, what a shameful day it is on earth. How embarrassing and shameful that is. That you call yourself a Christian, and you hold on more to the word of your father in the law than the word of God. That some of you will take the word of your father over the word of God. You even defend your so-called spiritual. You will deep. You come to people YouTube channel, Facebook page, and you are fighting us too. And they even issue you curses because somebody disagree with your so-called father. How, Jesus' name is being profaned all over the world. I haven't seen you fight to defend the name of God, but you will fight to defend the name of your father in the Lord. You know who they are? They're not fighting the Lord. They're your God. That's where your God is. Jesus' name is being profaned day and night all over the world. I don't see you fighting to defend his holy name. So you expect God himself to come down and defend his holy name? So why are we here? No, he don't have to come down to defend his name. That's what he got me here for. And I will defend his holy name at all costs. So don't come for me. Don't bring it. You don't like my messages because it offends you and your God. You call pastors. Keep stepping. Hello. Thank you.